welcome, my lovely, lovely people. Bet y'all thought y'all never see this game again with the way I've been putting this shit off. Uh, I just realized I'm in the online menu. But hello, welcome. If it's your first time, welcome back. If it's not, I know I'm not speaking to anybody right now. I'm speaking to the people who actually watch the VODs. People have been actually watching the VODs lately, so. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm like chewing right into the mic. Hold on. Oh my bad. I'm so sorry about all that um, excess sound effects and stuff. I didn't mean to. <laughs> I hadn't quite finished dinner yet. I just had a few more chips on my plate to knock out. And then I gotta make sure I'm eating, man, because I weighed myself recently. I was like, damn, I'm sitting in like the 140s right now. Like. I remember, like, most of the time when I felt like, when I was, uh, I want to say I felt my healthiest, I guess, it was, like, when I was in, like, the 160s, 170s, I remember one time I got, like, to the 180s, I was like, yeah, I need to put myself on a calorie deficit, lose a little weight, I was getting a little chubby. This was back in college, though, and then, um, I said, I want to be somewhere in between, like, 160, like, 170. I feel like that's a healthy weight for my height. Six foot, by the way. Um, and, yeah, so I got myself down to that, and I always hovered around that range, but I think I might have skipped one too many meals if I'm, like, uh, in the 140s right now. I'm in the mid 140s. I'm not gonna say I'm in the lower 140s. Lower 140s would be a little bit concerning. I might be like a little underweight at that point. But I think uh, my current weight isn't too bad. I still wanna gain a little bit more though. But that's neither here nor there. We're back with Red Dead Redemption. I know y'all seen the title of the stream. Red Drunk Redemption is because I'm considering Sorry, I got some lemonade here too But I say Red Drunk Redemption because I'm considering going to town on this pink Moscato bottle that my lady friend got me because she wanted me to try it, and I was like, say less. Well, I was like, say less. But I never ever got around to going to the liquor store, and so last time I visited, she just decided to get me a bottle while we were out running errands. Sorry, I'm just cleaning up after myself right now. Like a good house dweller. <laughs> Last we left off, I could not tell you where we left off, so we'll find out together, right? But I kind of want to, like find a reason for me to like take a swig out the bottle every time like should I take a swig out the bottle every time I I kill somebody <laughs> take somebody's life 
Should I take a shot every time I die? Am I that bad at this game? Do I die a lot? I don't know. I don't think so. Then I make sure. See, I do a good job of this. I hate to say, my lady friend does. She doesn't stay hydrated when she when she drinks. I don't know why. I thought that was like one of the first rules in order to like prevent migraines and other complications from alcohol. It's to just make sure you're staying hydrated because alcohol definitely dehydrates you. It intoxicates you. It's an actual toxin. So that dries you out. It's important to drink a lot of water. Regardless if you're drinking alcohol or not, but especially when you're drinking alcohol. Is this the horse that I'm gonna, what's it called, that I'm gonna stick with, or how much do I need to respect this horse? Am I gonna get rid of it, or am I keeping it, or is that the one that I'm getting rid of? Well, apparently this is my horse. This one is my horse, not this one, but... I don't know, I think I like the other one better. But yeah, let me, I uh, guess, get started with this bottle. I'm not sure what my alcohol tolerance is. I haven't drank in quite some time. So let's hoping I, let's hope that I'm not pouring myself too much. Oh, silly me! I forgot to do a couple of like housekeeping things before I get too far into the stream. Give me un momento. Hmm. This is only like my second time trying wine. Not quite sure how I feel about it yet. I mean, as far as like alcohols go, this isn't this isn't bad. But do I like the flavor? Like might be a little bit of a stretch. Well, I tolerate it. I will. Is this a long ride? This doesn't seem like too long of a ride. At this point, I'm just deciding to do what missions are closest to me for the sake of time to make up for lost time. Do I have to? I don't get this 
shackles off soon. I'm a goner. Please. What do we say, Chad? Do we trust them? What's the worst that could happen? Come on. Please. This is crazy. Just shoot the shackles. One bullet. That's all. Don't move. <laughs> Buddy was shifting around like he wanted to get shot. Something vicious. You know Ansberg? Well, some la di da rich folks bought up a little cabin up north of there. Very remote. You get me? You sure I'm the right person for this sort of information? I ain't saying nothing. Do with it what you will. Interesting. So what, it doesn't show it on the map? We'll do that later. Should I go hunting? I think I'm... I'll buy more provisions if I... If Arthur needs food. Or I'll, you know, make a nice little hunting trip. But I don't feel like hunting right now. Don't feel like anything but getting this show on the road. Probably just game completion, I'm not gonna lie. Cause, uh, I feel like there's a lot of side missions and and Rockstar games and not all of them are of interest to me in order to get that 100% uh, completion I'm just fine with seeing the story through from beginning to end the character development and the plot and whatnot but if I do enjoy it enough maybe I will I think I did that with Ghost of Tsushima, but I can't remember 100%. Actually, no, I'm pretty sure I did do it with Ghost of Tsushima. I made sure to go back and do everything else. Hey, appreciate it. And likewise, I like your Brian. I like watching uh, how you play Brian. I guess I should feed my horse. Didn't I stop by here? Isn't this the place where I like... I beat that guy up in front of his girl or something like that. Such thing. Respective new partner. If he likes to like him, ain't the problem. Trust him is, as I said. Keep your horses down. I don't want this is the fence this owner, is isn't it? Line. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. Prove ourselves to this clown. Yeah, I'll talking? probably just okay, stick to some of the most business. interesting. Listen. Side missions Robin and whatnot. Wait, if wait, done, but I, swear you can trust him I do trust pick him. any of them up. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful <coughs> stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. You 
go get that. And then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? No, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't into it. They know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing you, cousin. By marriage. And yes, I know it. You heard the man. Probably the game when it first came out. Still haven't completed it, but you finished the story. Yeah, I should have. I've had people telling me I should have been played the story for a minute. But I was just too interested in the online, man. I got I got very invested in online. Outside of the fist fighting and stuff that I was doing <laughs> most of the time. At some point I decided to like go for finishing the bounty roll and the, all the other roles. But particularly the bounty because I wanted the gun spinning. Man, watch out, man. You watch out. You see me. You see me leading the way. Feeling I would get here too soon before their dialogue is finished, but it is what it is. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. Taking this. There's the house. You see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. We can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show where you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Hmm. Fuck it, let's do it in that time. Let's wait. I say the nighttime makes it a more interesting mission. Yeah, I did play quite a lot of Red Dead Online. Gotta make everything dramatic. 
for the cinematic experience. I thought they were gonna like let me use the analog stick to move the camera around. They did not let me do any such thing. Um, yeah, most of the time I was the one getting killed and getting griefed. However, whenever like some of the Fight Club members were online, we would like look out for each other. Grief the griefers. But most of the time like, we would find somewhere to like just do our fist fighting and stuff in peace or just like find a lobby where people weren't being hoes. Cigarette card. Nice. So I shouldn't go back out. Oh, nice. I was about to say, should I go back out the way I came, or? Get on, dear boy. Simple. Should have put this shit in maximum overdrive. Oh, I gotta get it back in one piece. I guess let me relax a little bit. Had my foot on all the way on the gas. Parking it, I'm parking it. Uh, nice work, Jose. It's mostly art, like I said, course, but competent. Here, thank you. If you find any other coaches, can you sell it? I'll see what I can offer. I think this is the, this is the last time I'm pouring this out. I'm pouring this up. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? For tonight, I mean, of course, because it's not bad. Oh my god, that's a lot. That's more than I meant to pour. Pardon me. <laughs> Cr 
creaky ass doors. All these doors need some WD forty. Sure. What did he ask me? <laughs> what did I just accept? Now I'm very comfortable. So I don't plan on doing much getting up after this. Whoa. What's up everybody? Make my rounds, greeting most everybody. No, that's right. No, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, when I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story, and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again, if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. What's this now? Mary wants to see me. 
Why not take just a little bit off the top? Since I'm gonna go see a lady friend. Duty calls, booty calls. Good eats. These horses still not fucking with my online horses. <laughs> Else I would have been at my desp destination by now. I thought I said hitch the horse. Oh, don't get stuck. <laughs> I thought I was going to be able to lead it to a hitching post, but I guess not. Disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is um, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Her ass was not playing.
Hello, Arthur. Mary? I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's what's his name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh, well, you, you've been, <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. I, uh, my family, I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help them? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> so that's what this was like about. Compared to the rest of them. <laughs> He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. <laughs> Money, my life. Me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Who? What now? Like mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family. But it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often... I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life, and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Is that right? Please. Arthur. Will you help me? Tell her to get on her hands and knees first, and beg, and grovel. Where is he? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. You're lucky I'm the, you. I'm so honorable. You already owe me. Damn, I shaved for nothing. <laughs> I shaved just to help save this woman's family who didn't fuck with me. Damn, maybe I should have done a dishonorable run first. <laughs> No, I haven't been, uh, what's it called, playing for that long. But I think I'm just going to take like a quick five to ten minute intermission and then be back.
All right, I am back after a little bit of the intermission. And we are going to go save this this H words family. <laughs> it's not the H word you're thinking of. Uh, it's not the H word you're thinking of. I don't say which one it is, but Can I help a lady out? It is National Women's Month. It is International Women's Month, right? Sounds like some horse. has a history to it that I did not know about. I guess. I bet my husband's right where I left him. Bottle in hand. I don't know. Pink Moscato kind of tastes weird. <laughs> not weird, bad, but just like, I don't know. Maybe it's just wine in general that's might not be my jam like I thought it would be I mean it's not it's not bad like on a scale of 1 to 10 I would rate it like a 7 out of 10 appreciate it but I don't know for some reason I felt like I was expecting more
probably call it after I do this mission. Because I know I... It's nice to be back on Red Dead Redemption again. Story mode or online mode, but... Me and Tekken got something going on, man. Me and Tekken got a thing going on. Shit, or I could hop on some Master Duel. Actually, you know what? That actually, that actually might be the move. I might stream some Master Duel just to see if I still got it. Even though when I check, like, when I go back to old games I used to play just to see if I still got it. It takes me a while to get it back, but I mean, it's always there. Once a genius, always a genius. Once a king of games, always king of games. And then I'll probably play some Tekken later on, but I'm not sure if I'm going to stream Tekken. Maybe I will. Just depends on how I'm feeling after this and Master Duel. I don't know, because the wine, the wine might put me on my ass. I still got a little bit of it to finish in this cup too, and I'm like, I've been procrastinating on that. Russell Wilson plans to sign a one-year deal with the Steelers for what? <laughs> Russell Wilson to the Steelers is kind of crazy though. I never would have imagined him there. Shallow safety, shallow safety. <laughs> Go speak to the boy. Arthur? No, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. I will beat the dog shit out of all of you. <laughs> Don't provoke me, guys. I'm a good guy. Violence. What do we search for? Why did I provoke him? Why did I goad him on? You're searching for whoever stole your common sense, you nutcase. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? I don't got time for this, bro. I gotta throttle him. <laughs> so much for being honorable. <laughs> Chase you. 
the monkey I can't lasso you, buddy. I never wanted to help you in the first place. I hope you know that. And I reluctantly, begrudgingly agreed. Why my horse didn't jump on his own? Think you're doing, man? Just calm down. Leave me alone. Now calm down. Damn. What a sharp shot. True shot. Okay. Okay. I was trying to read as fast as I could because it felt like I was gonna. I was gonna, what's it called, jump the gun on reading and not do what I needed to do to save his life. Sorry, give me one moment. Alright, let's get to it. You were a kid last time I saw you. Didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Well, apparently. As lonely as oak. Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. I guess that's dead in the water. With the t 
heard it. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but... Your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father. Nice man. I'm happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, um, um. Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry, horses, or something. Go work in an orchard, then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots and running away from me when I'm trying to help them. Your father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and... What was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. So, are you two getting back together? Here we are. Just waiting inside. Make it quick or I might run off again. This guy. He got jokes. Man, watch out, man. You see me walking here, and like you can't, you can't find a way to stay out of the way. Jamie, Jamie, come home, please. You've father's been very sad. Father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you, my boy, my sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. It's one hell of a way to say goodbye. man alive and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but somehow I imagine I should. Well, I think that's a good place to call it. That boy Arthur is sprung. Not my dog. Not even 20% into the game yet. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright, but we're gonna hop on some, some Master Duel, because I'm feeling that, and then probably after that I'll call it a night as far as for streaming. But yeah, let's, let's head on over to Master Duel.